Hello everyone, uh, you are watching Code with Shubhajit and today we will be discussing a very important problem from GFG which is two sum pairs with zero sum. So as the name suggests, you can actually understand that we have been given an array and we have to find the pairs which will actually uh, return us a sum of zero when the pairs are summed up. Okay, so if I take the example in this case, minus one zero one to minus one four we have two elements minus one and one which will actually result to a sum of zero okay now if there is a minus two here as well then we can have one more uh, pair that is minus two and two which will sum up to zero okay one most important thing to uh, keep in mind is we have something called unique pairs so in this case in this case we have a minus one and we have a one here that will create a pair we have one more minus one and we have this one here so this is not this should not be duplicate that's what I'm saying even if we have two minus one we cannot have two pairs with minus one one minus one one that is not possible the pair of these two elements should be unique so even so if we have a minus one and one which has occurred in the output array there will be no more minus one and one occurring again so that's the gist of the problem now we will go to the one note and understand the problem and the flow properly so here you can see i have taken a random array which says minus one one zero one two minus one four i have also indexed them out now i just want you to think uh, that when we have to find the two values which will sum up to zero how are we gonna find that the first brood and brood approach which is coming to my mind is actually running a double for loop over this right running a double for loop how will we do that we have an i pointer which will be running from zero till the second last element okay and for a certain i we will be having a j which will actually run from i plus one to the last element so in this case when i is 0 the j will run from 1 till 6 okay when i is 1 the j will run from 2 till 6 so that's that's what i'm trying to say now with that what we will do when we are at i is equals to 1 in the outer for loop then for every j we are traversing here we will check that is the sum of the ith element and the jth element is it double is equals to zero if it is zero then i will uh, add that add those elements in the output array okay so as in this case it happened now minus one zero doesn't happen minus one one it happened but can we put it inside the output array no we can't because that will make it a duplicate so we also have to handle that case along with the double for loop now minus one two no minus one minus one no minus one four no now again we come at this one one and zero no one and one no so along the same lines you can actually have the i pointer and the j pointer from i plus one till n and for each element you can actually see that the pairs which uh, the double for loop is creating is it actually making a sum of zero or not so this is the brute brute force approach which i can think of now let's go to the more optimized approach so this will actually take a big o of n squared time because we are having a double for loop right can we actually decrease the time to some better time we will see that let me take the array again okay so i have taken the array again and now i just want you to think that we have a lot of uh, times told that okay the pairs must be returned in sorted order and the solution array should always also be sorted now this actually directs us to some point that if we want to return something like this we actually want to have the array to be sorted as well okay and if we sort the array i will actually show you the approach where we can have two pointers one at the first element of the array and one at the last element of the array and with that we can actually traverse that moving those pointers and uh, based on the sum values and they can be done in very less time so if we want to sort this array what the array will look like the sorted array will look something like this 
and let's say if I take a pointer at this which is i at zeroth index and we take a pointer j at the last index okay then we have the ith pointer we have the jth pointer now we will actually check the values of arri plus arrj so these are arr take them as arr arri plus arrj what are the values of them so if you see minus 1 plus 4 what's the value the value is 3 okay so is 3 greater than 0 is 3 greater than 0 yes 3 is greater than 0 it means that we have a sum which is greater than 0 and we now want to decrease that sum to 0 for decreasing that sum we know this this is a sorted array for decreasing the value we have to decrement the pointer from j to j minus 1 okay now j is here so as we have decremented this the sum value will decrease because on decrementing it the values are gonna decrease because it is a sorted array so that's the whole gist of sorting them out i hope you are able to understand this okay so now minus 1 plus 2 what is the value that is 1 is 1 still greater than 0 yes 1 is still greater than 0 in that case i will decrement j again okay so we have a minus 1 and 1 okay we got a output pair so minus 1 and 1 is one of the pairs of the output okay fine it's good and these are also in sorted order because we will be logging i's value first and then j's and as they are in sorted order they are definitely they definitely will be sorted right okay it's fine now whenever we found a match that is whenever we found an i and j whose uh, values are equal to zero that is minus one plus one its values are equals to zero in that case we will actually increment i to the next element and we will decrement j to the left element okay so why are we going to do that because we know that the ith and jth pair have actually given us a zero sum now we need to go to the next elements for both of them what's the point of just being here why i'm saying that because let's say if it is minus one right minus one plus one has fetched us a zero now when we decrement that okay if i take one more example so when these minus 2 and 2 actually makes us a 0, if we keep the i pointer here as it is and we decrement the j only, it will not be any benefit to us because keeping it at minus 2 and decrementing it will not make us 0 again because it will definitely be lesser than 2 when we go to left and when it is lesser than 2, adding it with minus 2 will not make a 0 because minus 2 with 2 will only make a 0 and anything lesser than that will not make a zero so we have to move both the pointers in this case and that's why i am moving both the pointers okay so now our i is at index one our j that is at index three can we see that there is again a minus one and one okay should we log that no we shouldn't be logging that now we have to also understand that how to handle this case where we have duplicate elements and we will be actually logging the duplicate pairs in the output and we should not be doing that so in that case what we are gonna do that whenever we found a match as in this case we found a match for index 0 and index 3 having values minus 1 and 1 which uh, give, gave us a sum of 0 now we found a match right in that case this minus 1 element is there we will be incrementing i till the point we don't have a minus 1 so what i am trying to say that now we have a minus 1 in this with this we got a match so we will be incrementing i till the point we are having a different number other than minus one so in this case i incremented i to here index one it's also having a value of minus one so i will again increment it and now we have a value of zero so i will stop here so basically the value of i is now at index two whose value is zero for the same case j as well with this one we encountered a match which is with this minus one so we have to decrement j till the point we have a different number other than one okay so here we have one so we will decrement it again now we have zero we are good we have a zero right now in this case as we have a zero the j will also be pointing to this index two with a value of zero i and j are now pointing to the same value same index right 
so in this case our loop will break because we at least need two elements to give us sum of zero right so in this case our loop will break so basically the breaking condition for our loop would be this while i is less than say whenever i is greater than or equals to j the loop will break and in this case as it is equals to j the loop has broke and we came out of the loop and whatever the output er uh, pair we have that is the answer okay i hope you are able to understand the flow here let's go to the code part and uh, let's see how we can code out the solution which we have just understood the flow okay so as we have discussed uh, initially we have to sort this array which we are getting right so we'll use the arrays dot sort method to sort this array now as we have the sorted version of the array what we can do we can actually go and initialize the output array list of array list of integer this one so let's take it as answer new this uh, let me decrease here so we can see what's happening okay fine now after this as we have initialized the answer array we have to initialize the two pointers as we have told the i and the j the i will be pointing to the first element and j will be pointing to the last element which is arr dot length minus one and after this what we will be doing we will be running a while loop and the breaking condition of that while loop will be i lesser than j we don't want the i to be equal to or greater than j whenever that happens we want to come out of the loop because in that case we don't have two distinct elements okay so in this what we are gonna do we will check that okay if arr of i plus arr of j is it greater than zero if it is greater than zero it means we have to decrease the sum for decreasing the sum what we are gonna do we will decrement the j now what we will check we will check that is it lesser than zero if it is lesser than zero we have to increment the sum for that case what we are going to do we have to do i plus plus okay because when it is lesser than zero we have to increment that to increment that we have to here we have to increase the i pointer and we have to go to the right elements so that we can increase the sum okay now when these both cases are not true it means that arr i plus arr j is equals to zero right and now our actual logic will be written here the first step will be let me comment that out the first step will be adding the pair to answer array list and then we will do i plus plus and j minus minus why we are doing that we are doing that because we don't want to actually be on the same path again because that will not fetch us any result we have to increment i and decrement j both of them has to be done because i and j has given us a match now keeping i and decrementing j will not give us a match keeping j and incrementing i will not give us a match okay i have explained that in the uh, previous explanation in one node as well but we have to add the pair to answer array list how are we gonna do that so we have a add method in an array list and inside that we will do this and this will actually just add the pair what pair it is arri and arrj and uh, i prefer specifically uh, making it as integer because it is of integer type okay so this is one part of which it is done now the second part as i have explained there can be duplicate elements as we have here right we have this minus one and minus one we have this one and one so how to tackle that part we have to increment i till the point we get a different value we have to decrement j till the point we get a different value from the match what have occurred so inside the while loop i will check so i will also have this i less than j condition because we don't want that while making this increments in i or decrements in j we surpass the breaking condition of the outer loop okay that should not happen we should keep that in mind 
so while i is less than j and and arr of i is double is equals to arr of i minus 1 so what we have done here let me uh, try to explain you so we have a match here right now after this we have done i plus plus can you see here okay good so we have done i plus plus and now i is here now i is here okay now i is here and after that what we are doing while i is less than j and arr i is double equals to arr i minus one so here what we are doing that arr i this is i now so till the point uh, my arr i is equals to arr i minus one i will do i plus plus so in this case it is true so my i will be incremented and i is now pointing to index two now I will again check is my ARR i is double is equals to ARR i minus 1 0 is not equals to minus 1 no that's not the case okay they are not equal so we will come out of the loop the same thing we are gonna for j uh, gonna do for j as well we found a match at j is equals to 4 we decremented j as here we decremented it right in this line after that we will be having a while loop which will check is the present j is double is equals to j plus 1 till that time I will be decrementing j so yes that is true for the j now 3 and 4 both have the same value so I will decrement j now j is pointing to this value 0 and is now the case that j and j plus 1 the values the values at those indexes j and j plus 1 are the same no they are not same so I will break the loop let's code that out so for this we will do i plus plus and let me take the same thing i will do some changes uh, while i is less than j and arr j is double is equals to arr of j plus one till that time we'll do j minus minus i hope you are able to understand this fine and at the end we will be returning the answer so this is the whole code I hope you are able to understand this. Let us first combine and run and see okay this passes or not the basic test cases. Okay, so we have minus one one expected output and my output as well. Uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you about the time complexity for this optimized solution which we are uh, which we have just coded out here. So that will be uh, including this sorting of array which is big O of n log n so the time complexity for this will be big o of n log n and uh, for traversing uh, this array right after sorting it for traversing uh, this while loop it will be traversing in uh, a linear time so big o of n so the total time complexity so this is big o of n so the total time complexity which we are using is actually big o of n log n plus n which actually boils down to big o of n log n only because that is the greater time which we have and uh, the space complexity is uh, something related to only this answer which we have to return right but we are not taking any extra space out of that we are just populating the answer array list of array list so the space complexity according to me if we are not taking the answer into account it is big o of one so I will highly recommend you to take some more random test cases do a dry run as we have done here okay do a dry run and understand how the algorithm is working and then after that what you can do you can actually code out the solution you have seen the video you can code out the solution on your own now understanding each and every line and then you can submit the solution and see if all the test cases pass so thanks a lot guys for watching till here if you have any doubts please comment them i will be really happy to help and that's all for today.